our main message is a simple one, and that's agriculture and food systems have a central role to play in tackling climate change. Agri-food system solutions can help countries with their efforts to adapt to climate change, to build resilience to climate change, to mitigate emissions, to reduce their emissions of greenhouse gases, while at the same time addressing their many food security challenges. So our message is we have solutions to tackle climate change. supporting, as always, the official UNFCCC process, the negotiation process. It's a very important process because it brings the discussion on agriculture, on food system, and it gives us the opportunity to talk about the solutions that this sector offers for climate within the official uh, process of negotiations. We also support the one on loss and damage and the establishment of the loss and damage fund. We're going to go to COP already equipped with an analysis that shows what loss and damage means to food systems, what loss and damage means to the communities that depend on agriculture and food systems as a way of keeping up the momentum to building towards this fund that is being discussed and to redirecting investments to really where they're needed, to the most vulnerable. agroforestry, soil restoration, sustainable livestock management, food loss and waste, uh, energy smart agriculture. All of these solutions have been identified and to some degree tested. So there's a lot of room for climate investments that help scale up agri-food system solutions to climate change. For example, soil regeneration and soil restoration. About a third of agricultural land is currently degraded. You can imagine the potential of restoring a third of agricultural land in terms of food security, but also in terms of then building resilience, adaptation and, of course, mitigation of emissions. The same goes for what we can do in sustainable livestock management, in sustainable fisheries and aquaculture. We have a lot of projects and initiatives across FAO that have showcased these solutions, but what we haven't seen yet is the investments being scaled up to a level that matches. We have an array of, of projects and, and initiatives. One amazing partnership we have is with the Global Environment Facility, the GEF. We're working with uh, around 130 countries to implement solutions that exactly address food security and environment at the same time. Putting a lot of land under sustainable management has meant the mitigation of gigatons of emissions while at the same time improving food security and most importantly improving livelihoods through green jobs, through to some degree better nutrition for the communities dependent on those lands, on the agriculture, on the farms, especially small-scale uh, farmers. Our partnership with the Green Climate Fund has also helped countries access over a billion dollars to address climate, biodiversity and food security all at the same time. We have other interventions like through our plant treaty, interventions that help to, for example, test out uh, drought-resistant seeds, to test out what works in different contexts, in different countries and to enable farmers to build their own resilience, the resilience of their crops to what is clearly a changing climate. <music>